Nella Jones is a psychic detective. She says she can see crimes. She's helped to solve dozens of frauds, kidnappings, and even murders. Nella has worked mainly with the country's biggest police force, the Metropolitan Police in London. They refuse to talk openly about their use of psychic detectives, but Nella has a secret letter of commendation from a senior officer. How I do it is very difficult to explain. It's just, if you have an itchy ear, you'll scratch it. If I'm involved with a crime, I look at it and I solve it. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, detectives who've left the police have blown the whistle on Nella's links with them. I don't know how Nella does it. She helps police an awful lot. She tells police things that uh, possibly they wouldn't know through their normal, normal inquiries. Uh, all I know is she helps us. There's no doubt whatsoever that Nella found clues that we couldn't find. I don't know how she did it, but she did. Detective Inspector Jim Bays was at the centre of what is undoubtedly Nella's greatest case to date. A £2 million painting, The Guitar Player by Vermeer, had been stolen from Kenwood House, an art gallery on London's Hampstead Heath. Nobody had a clue who'd taken it, neither the police nor the painting's owners, the old Greater London Council. Was it amateurs, a group of drunks had got in there, somebody had stolen it, they might not know what to do with it, they tried to sell it, they might destroy it. I was doing the ironing on this Sunday evening and only half listening to the television. I was trying to rush with the ironing. The Not really what to do. And certainly this sort of uh, chattering about this very Street, valuable painting that had gone time. missing from this special Police house. Police have launched a full-scale hunt across the 800 acres of Heathland. Art experts are anxious for the safety of the picture, which is valued at around £2 million. Pounds. In the wrong place. As yet, there's little clue of who might have taken it or well, why. I put the iron down. Kenwood's owners, the Greater London Council, paper. say they are stunned by the theft of such a well-known painting, and they're working well, with the police for its safe recovery. A drawing of the They've appealed of for anyone with information on the theft crosses. to come forward. I hadn't got a clue what it meant at the time. I thought, what should I do with it? I didn't feel big headed or anything like that, but I just knew. So I thought, I've got to do something. So I rang Scotland Yard at first. I took the first call from Nella, and it's the first call I've ever had from a psychic on any case. I've got some information on the Kenwood House robbery. Who are you, madam? Well, I'm a psychic, actually. My name's Nella Jones. I see. And what is it you want to tell us, exactly? Well, I've had this vision in my head. And I'm drawn a map where you'll find some clues as to the whereabouts of the picture. My first reaction was scepticism. And I thought, I hope she's not a crank. She was insistent that she must come and help us to find this painting. Can we take your number and we'll get back to you? I thought that they thought I was a nutcase and I was waiting for the little van to come and take me away. Jim Bay spoke to a fellow detective. And she says she's never been well, we had a discussion. Before. We decided that, as we had nothing else to go on, we'd give it a try. Well, I mean, you should have heard her. She was really insistent. I reckon we should get her in. Yeah. The two detectives took Nella to the scene of the crime, Kenwood House. Now they discover whether she really could find anything. I'd never been there before in my life. I'd never heard of the painting or the artist or anything. When I, I was there, I knew exactly where I had to go. Something to do with the painting is in there. OK, Nella, you lead and we'll follow. I shouldn't deviate. She went straight to the pond. It was as if she was drawn there. Getting closer and closer, I had this fantastic sensation. And um, down by this smelly pond... Hang on. ..stop dead. I'm going in. Nella took off her shoes and I remember she hitched up her skirt and she walked into the pond. The detectives watched incredulously. And bent down and came up with something that was under a couple of feet of water and she held it up. Got it! It was part of an alarm system attached to the back of the painting. The police were stunned. Despite all their searching, this was the closest they'd come to the picture and it had taken a psychic to find it. We were absolutely astonished. There could only be two 
two answers. She was either involved in the theft or she was indeed psychic. But Nella hadn't finished yet. She led the officers on the route that she claimed the actual thieves had taken when running away from the art gallery. They ran through here, took a wrong turn and panicked because you lot were here. I feel either pain, fear, elation, whatever the victim or the villains have felt, I feel it. I felt the panic. I felt as if I were running. I was being chased and I had to get away. That's what I felt, so I knew exactly where they'd gone. Where Nella said the thieves had run into the undergrowth, the detectives found bushes wrecked. She was hot on the trail. My second cross is to do with the frame. I then the told them about the second the cross. It was down a windy lane with some railings around some trees. And over there, I knew the frame was. She says it's in the long grass. We're on our way. In the space of a morning, Nella had found part of the alarm system, the thieves' escape route, and now the frame which had held the painting. She was fast becoming a prime suspect herself. The officer in charge of the case wanted Nella arrested. He was convinced that, as a result of all she appeared to know, she must be involved in the theft. Well done, Nell. When did you put it there? Oh, the frame? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought, crikey, they think I've done it, you know? So it was a bit scary. It's all in my head. Her background and her alibis and everything were checked very, very thoroughly, and it became obvious that she wasn't involved in the theft in any way whatsoever. I think I'd known this all the time in my heart, but my head said, you must investigate her. So if Nella doesn't have inside information, how does she know so much? Could it be a psychic version of methods developed by forensic scientists like Mike Berry? He studies crimes to work out typical patterns of criminal behaviour. I think what's happened with the psychic detectors, they're doing the same. They're saying, here is behaviour that isn't as random as it looks. You can predict that if somebody breaks into a house and they're trying to dispose of evidence, they're going to throw it somewhere where they can hide it. A lake is a very sensible place to hide uh, incriminating uh, material. But does that explain what Nella came up with next? She says that she saw where the painting was hidden, and it wasn't where I anyone would have suspected. Nella Jones. Look, love, I've had another vision. I know where the picture is. It's in somewhere quiet, a graveyard. The detectives decided Nella was describing Highgate Cemetery, the one nearest Kenwood House. So they took her there. We searched Highgate Cemetery on several occasions with Nella, but we never found anything. It looked as if Nella had finally run out of useful psychic clues. But then the burglary took a sinister twist. It emerged this was not the work of ordinary thieves. The IRA had stolen the painting, and as ransom notes began to arrive, the hunt became a race against time. We were concerned when we found out that the IRA had stolen the painting. Suddenly it became very stark and very realistic that something very nasty could happen. I predicted after that every letter they would receive, one in particular with a piece of canvas in it, which they did receive. There were threats the painting would be burned on St. Patrick's night, and I said, no, it won't. It'll be perfectly safe, and you'll find it in a cemetery, as I have said all the way along. An anonymous tip-off led detectives not to Highgate, but another cemetery a few miles away, where, lying under some leaves, was what looked like a rolled-up newspaper. Inside was the missing masterpiece, Vermeer's guitar player. Nella's role in its recovery was never officially recognised, but the officers involved will never forget what she did. I've known of many occasions where psychics have been used. It hasn't been publicised. It never will be publicised, but they have been used. But Nella Jones was, of course, sent a letter by the Metropolitan Police, and this is it. To quote, it is a mark of your abilities that the police turn to you for help time and time again.